Africa is not only one of the larger continents in the world, it's one that to many is mysterious in regards of how much the countries on the continent are defined as third world countries. As such, their ways of life are much different than many others in the world, and due to that, the continent of Africa is honestly home to many wonders and surprises that are just waiting to be found. Here now are 20 unsettling discoveries in Africa nobody can explain. Number 20. Lost City Given that our world as a whole has a ton of history that's both unknowable and at times written over by the passage of time and those that have come since, it's likely that it's not that much of a surprise to some of you that there are lost cities that are scattered all over the globe. In fact, many major discoveries are very much about how these cities were once lost and then became found. But what they discovered in Africa shocked the whole world, or at least shocked them a little, because using laser technology, they were able to find one of these lost cities that likely would not have been discovered otherwise. The discovery, more specifically, was that of South Africa's ancient lost city of Quenang. The settlement, which dates back to the 15th century, was home to up to 10,000 people from a local ethnic group. This is important for various reasons, not the least of which was the European settler claims that certain parts of Africa, especially South Africa, were wild and abandoned wastelands where no one could live, and thus they, the Europeans, were the true settlers of the land. Except that wasn't true. Research actually went on in the region, and finding this lost city was more than proof of that. Now they understand that there was a network of settlements across very large territories and trading connections, and that they didn't have any single major site, and the people left limited written or oral traces that have gone under the radar. And because of this discovery, the descendants of these people are asking that it be deemed their true homeland, basically rewriting the history books for the better. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. And now it's time for the fancy topic. Take a look at this picture. It's allegedly taken on a beach in Madagascar, and the creature you're allegedly looking at was dubbed the football fish. Should we poke fun at that name? Well, I'll let you do it for me and tell me the jokes that you've made about it in the comments. Regardless, this fish allegedly washed up on shore and thus got a whole lot of people talking. Not the least of which is about its size, its jet black coloring, and how it appears to have an arm that comes out of the lower half of its body. Are we to believe this picture? Well, I'd caution against that. If such a creature was found, it would have made a bigger splash. Also, if you look at the people in the background, they just look a little bit off now, don't they? However, given that the ocean is a vast and mysterious place, there could be a creature like that down there. Nobody can honestly say otherwise at the present moment. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag fancy topic. Number 19. Dinosaur Nursery now we'll get back to something we can actually prove existed in dinosaurs. The legendary creatures of the ancient world have long been a fascination for people and certain filmmakers, and the more that we can learn about them, the better off we are in a whole lot of ways. Which is why it was shocking when, in 2012, a dinosaur nursery would be discovered one of the oldest ever found, as it was apparently over 190 years old. The newly unearthed clutches of eggs, many with embryos still inside, belonged to plant-eating dinosaurs who were predecessors of the largest animals to ever walk the earth, long-necked sauropods such as the Brachiosaurus. At this point, you may be thinking, well, this is just about the nest that makes it interesting. Well, yes, the eggs and the nest are the interesting part, but it was truly fascinating in the eyes of scientists that there were footprints of young dinosaurs unveiled key details about their early lives and family dynamic, including mainly how the younglings would remain in the nest and around it until they were a certain size. That may seem like a small discovery to you, 
But if you really think about it, guesswork has been the backbone of many dinosaur discoveries, as proven by various things like Jurassic Park and their now inaccurate depiction of the velociraptors. And of course, if it was true for one species in regards to this new information, it may be true for others later on. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Also, just finding this nest with the eggs intact is rare due to how they aren't that thick. It should also be mentioned that they, at the time, said that there were other nests in the area that just needed to be uncovered, and all in all, it's a very significant find. Number 18. New Dinosaur Species Alright, I can hear you saying, hey, that nest story was fine but hardly shocking. And yeah, fine, if you want something a bit more grand, maybe something with a bit more gravitas. How about how in Africa, they found the first proof of a new dinosaur species? That's right, a brand new dinosaur species that up until 2019 had never been discovered before. Do we have your attention now? But wait, there's more, and a twist. Because this wasn't a new dinosaur that was found because its bones were dug up and they knew instantly that it was something new. Rather, it was a discovery made because some of the bones of a previous dig site were misidentified. The fossilized bones had been misidentified as a peculiar specimen, one of the first named dinosaurs. But a detailed analysis of the 200 million year old skeleton, which includes an almost complete skull, would lead researchers to conclude that the remains not only represent a new species, but belong to an entirely new genus as well. And for the record, that's a huge deal in the science world. It was named something that I would better pronounce if I were about seven beers in, but basically it stands for Grey Skull. The creature is believed to have been about four meters long and weighed about 660 pounds, a rather significantly sized dinosaur. It walked on its hind legs and had a barrel-shaped body, a long slender neck, and a small but boxy skull, according to those that had examined the bones. Take heart though, it was mostly a plant eater, and if it did go after meaty creatures, it was just small animals. Naturally, something like this find proves that we still know precious little about dinosaurs as a whole in terms of just how many of them that there were out there, and if one could be found like this, there should definitely be more out there waiting to be unearthed and rediscovered. Number 17. Nalidi now, if you want me to keep going on the path of revolutionary new discoveries, then you're honestly in luck, because back in 2015, a new species of human was found in Africa. That's right, a new ancient species of human would be reportedly discovered, and they were called the Nalidi. As for why they were only found then, that would be because the remains of various Nalidi were found in a burial chamber that was within a cave system in South Africa. Given the inception level of hiding there, we should be lucky to have found them at all. The discovery of 15 partial skeletons of these beings is the largest single discovery of its type in Africa, and as you may expect, people were quite eager to figure out what it all means, including whether this changes the timeline or the evolutionary line of humans as we know it. Now don't forget, many people who believe in the path of evolution, in terms of how the world and its inhabitants came to be, believe that humanity as a whole likely came from Africa first and then branched out into the other continents. So finding a new species of ancient human could help that path along. Even now, there's not a whole lot of definitive information on the Nalidi, though some speculate that they may have lived in Africa about 3 million years ago. Those 15 skeletons that we talked about earlier were even more of a boon to scientists because they were just male adult skeletons rather than a mix of male, female, young, old, and everything in between. Many people are hoping that this will lead to revelations about how humankind has evolved as a whole. Number 16. Oguda Lake Now let's head to what some people might call a true mystery, and it features one of the most important things in the world, that being water. If you were to head to Nigeria, you'd find Aguda Lake. And as you gaze upon this lake, you'll notice something very interesting here. Mainly, one part of that lake is a dark brown, and the other is green. It doesn't really sound like it should mix, but that's the irony. Despite the two halves of this lake being right next to one another, they don't actually mix at all. Now, I acknowledge that on a base level, they do mix, as you can see in certain pictures, that the colors are intertwined in points, but it's honestly at a very small level rather than a large scale one like you may expect. 
effect. It should also be noted that while they do come together to make a lake, they're actually two rivers that happen to flow side by side, and one of those flows actually comes from another lake. As one might expect from something like this, the locals of Nigeria have gone and made all sorts of things about it, including that once upon a time, the waters were a husband and wife deity, and now their separate natures can be found in the lakes themselves. A more simplistic explanation for what's going on here might just have to be about composition. Because as some of you may know, this lake isn't the only body of water that has a cross-section of two different colored waters. And the reason that they don't mix is because of what's in it and how they almost naturally repel each other as a result. Sometimes even water doesn't mix. Number 15. Senegal's Pink Lake and if you thought I was done talking about water, well, there's a lot of it in Africa. And around Africa, and obviously a very important resource for its people, but no doubt even they were surprised when they learned that in Senegal, there's a pink lake. Yes, there is indeed a lake in Africa that is pink in color, and here are some pictures and such if you don't believe me. Though the obvious question comes to be that, what made it that way? The irony there? Well, it's that there are honestly multiple ways that you could turn a lake pink, believe it or not. The only question is, which one did it go with? The answer to that would be algae. There's a very specific kind of algae that lies within the lake that produces a red pigment, and that's because it helps them absorb sunlight, and as a result of that, the lake can look pink from afar. Though it should be noted that in the rainy season, the effect is a little bit subdued. The lake is also one that has a high salt content, in fact, about 40% salinity, which isn't usually preferred by wildlife, and yet there are plenty of species that actually live there. And the local people, well, they actually use the salt to help preserve the fish, believe it or not. It should also be noted that pink isn't the only color that certain waters of the world have been known to transform into. Number 14. Human Burial Site now, as I've already shown you earlier, a burial site can be a very important historical tool to learn what and who came before. But in Kenya, researchers discovered the grave of a child from 78,000 years ago, making it the earliest known human burial site in Africa. That's naturally a huge find. And the young boy that they found, which they named Toto, believe it or not, not to be confused with the singer of Africa, they're using to try to figure out the emotional life of Homo sapiens, which is a choice. Excavating a grave presented a major technical challenge, as you would expect, as the ancient bones were so fragile that any attempt to remove fragments saw them crumble into dust, even when researchers applied resins to the remains. Their way around that was to literally go around the grave in order to excavate it and then sealed everything in plaster so that it could be moved to a museum to be examined. Now, as for arguably the true significance of this, it has to do with the act of the burial itself. This child, again, was from almost 80,000 years ago, long before many would state that humanity of any kind and at any level was evolved. And yet, despite that, the young boy, who was said to be about three years old in age, was buried by whomever had cared for him. That means that even back then, 80,000 years or so, the humanoid creatures that lived in Africa revered death or at the very least, knew to honor those that were gone. That's a fascinating little detail that could very easily get lost in the shuffle of the find, and yet details are a key part of early humanoid existence. Number 13. Kayamwilu Magic Hill now there's a name to get you excited about things. Why are we going to this hill? Because it's magic. A few kilometers from Machakos towards Kangundo, there exists a wonder hill commonly known by the locals as Kayamwilu Magic Hill. At this place, one can go uphill on free gear for about 100 meters, and if you're not getting the magic of the hill yet, allow me to use another example. If you were to be on this hill and drop a ball on it so that it would roll, it would roll upwards and not downwards. Wow. 
This hill in Kenya has not only become one of the unexplainable places, but that of a tourist attraction as well. Mainly because people won't believe something like this until they come and see it and experience it for themselves. And honestly, can't really blame them for that urge. The legend behind this hill is equally as fun and adds to the magic of the place. Long story short, two men from Kenya fell for the same woman and came to a compromise that they would both marry her. And then she would alternate between them every night. One lived up the hill and the other lived down the hill. When they died without resolving their differences, their energies went and destabilized the hill, causing nature and gravity to go out of whack and Isaac Newton to roll over in his grave. A more believable explanation is that this is all one big optical illusion, and in this case I'm talking about how it only looks like you're going uphill based on the lines and contours of the area, but instead you're actually going downwards, and there are other places like this on Earth for the record. Number 12. The Mysterious Egg Now we might not be horror movie fans, but we do know that when a mysterious egg shows up, it's probably not good. Thankfully though, this is not a creature egg, but rather eggs that would be found growing out of a tree in Ghana. Yes, believe it, a man in Ghana found an egg tree, and it was a tree that would bear eggs as if they were fruit. He then took a video of it as he went up to the tree, cracked open one of the eggs above a plate, and then yolk fell out. Now some immediately called this nothing more than a variety of garden egg, but others weren't so sure. It's possible that the man didn't know about garden eggs. I certainly didn't before this entry, but again, something just doesn't seem right about it all. I'm not saying that it's fake, I'm just saying that there might be more to this than the explanation that it's a tree that breeds eggs, somehow. Think about it like this though, if this was a thing that happens on the regular, why haven't we seen more of these trees out in the world? Number 11. Rock City of Sifar Located in Algeria, the rock city of Safar is easily one of the most unique and mysterious places on Earth, and for very good reasons. Not the least of which was how the place came to be, but all that was left behind by those that left it behind. Not the least of which is an almost literal mountain's worth of cave drawings that reveal a whole lot about Africa itself. More than 15,000 drawings and engravings record the climatic changes, the animal migrations, and the evolution of human life on the edge of the Sahara from 6000 BC to the first centuries of the present day. There are clearly many people who have lived within these rocky terrains based on the finds that were discovered, meaning that they had to adapt to that harsh territory and its climate in order to get through it all, and yet that's exactly what they did. Now the rock city of Safar is a world heritage site, and scientists and historians are constantly researching not only the remains and the paintings, but the land itself to see if more clues can be had. Number 10. Oldest Homo Sapiens Remains as noted earlier, many who believe in evolution state that humanity began in Africa and then branched out. But the question to many is when did Homo sapiens come into the picture and begin to roam around? The answer is honestly one that keeps on shifting, but why is that? Well, that's because new bones are found and it keeps changing the timeline. Such as in 2017 when the bones of Homo sapiens would be discovered in North Africa, the first kind of its find in that area, and was said to be dated to about 300,000 years ago. Why is that important though? Well, the previous oldest bones of Homo sapiens were 200,000 years ago, give or take, and that means that new bones found five years ago were 100,000 years older than the oldest ones found before. Does your brain hurt yet? Because mine certainly does. That all apparently changes the timeline and opens up space in which the Homo sapiens were believed to have lived in the time. In other words, it's a big game-changing find and there's a lot of science stuff to go along with it. Number 9. Dinosaur Footprints In 2017, enormous footprints would be discovered by the Anza Shore in Agadir. The fossils that were exposed by the tide were that of dinosaurs' footprints that date back to about 85 million years ago. Not as old as the nest footprints from before, but still meaningful nonetheless. 
As a result of this, archaeologists would race to try and get to the site and secure it so that they could examine the footprints and ensure that they weren't damaged by any onlookers. Compared to bones, footprints of dinosaurs may not actually seem like much, but even a footprint can reveal various things about ancient times and the dinosaurs that lived there. Considering that this one was found by the tide means that it wouldn't have been found by anyone for a while longer, if ever, had the waters not done the work for them. Number 8. Crocodile of the Congo Given how many crocodiles live in Africa, many of which are man-eaters, you might think it odd that one of them could be shocking or mysterious. And yet, for the dwarf crocodile that was known to be in the Congo and other parts of Africa, that's exactly what it was. There would even be a documentary done about the crocodile as they tried to find it. This one is special because it's the smallest species of croc in the world today. And equally as important, it's a nocturnal crocodile that prefers to hide while the sun is out, thus making it harder to find and see. Eventually, it would be discovered and documented, but because it's a little-known species, the conservation efforts to keep this creature alive are not as large as other crocs, due to many not even knowing about its existence. Number 7. The Big Head Paintings in 2018, archaeologists made a staggering discovery in Swaga Swaga Game Reserve in central Tanzania. 52 previously undocumented rock shelters deliberately painted with rock art. As highlighted earlier, these paintings can be a vital tool for archaeologists and historians as they tell various stories and even act as record books for those that came before them. One of the paintings that wasn't destroyed by weathering had a ton of people baffled. But why? Because the painting in question showed humans and animals next to creatures that were tall and had really big heads. Like really big heads. Huge ones. Look at the size of the head. Why is the head so big? No one's honestly sure what to make of any of it, and whether this was a deliberate drawing of something from the area in the time, or an explanation of something else entirely, we're still scratching our huge heads today. Number 6. City of Giants A forgotten city thought to date back as far as the 10th century AD would be uncovered by a team of archaeologists in eastern Ethiopia in 2017. And within that city featured many relics from other cultures, which included Egypt, India, and China. Many see this as a major point of proof about the trade between these certain nations, saying that the discovery had revolutionized their understanding of trade in an archaeologically neglected part of Ethiopia. And what they found shows that the area was actually the center of trade in that region. There were other artifacts from even more regions found, and it further helped to state the importance of the lost city. As for why it was called the City of Giants, well, that would be because some people of the region believed that a race of giant humans had lived there due to how huge the stones were that were used to make what no one could lift regularly. No proof of giants have been found there, though. Well, not quite yet. Number 5. Lucy and now for a truly landmark discovery back in its day. On November 24th of 1974, fossils of one of the oldest known human ancestors would be discovered in Ethiopia. That ancestor was nicknamed Lucy. As for how the name Lucy came to be, you need only to remember the time period. That was the age of the Beatles, and their song, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, was playing when they celebrated the find, and so thus, Lucy it was named. It was stated to be 3.2 million years old, standing only three and a half feet tall. She had powerful arms and long curved toes that paleontologists think would allow her to climb trees as well as walk upright. Even today, after everything that's been learned and discovered, Lucy still remains one of the most important discoveries that's ever been made in human history. Number 4. Ghost Snake 
This one's about a snake that was found for the first time in Madagascar back in 2016, and it was dubbed the ghost snake due to its gray coloring. Now, while it was a new species, it was not a whole new genus. Rather, it was another one that would be under the branch of the cat eye snakes, which are commonly found in Madagascar, but the coloring and other features of the snake would help to prove that it was indeed a new species, and at the time, it was the only one that had ever been captured. Number 3. Wallace's Sphinx Moth as already proven before, sometimes scientists do get it wrong when it comes to misidentifying things. It happens to big creatures like dinosaurs and to little creatures like moths. In this case, the Wallace's Sphinx Moth. This species was actually found originally in 1903, but was labeled under a completely different species of moth, and after it was finally re-examined, it was revealed to be not only a new insect, but one that had the longest tongue of any insect in the world today. Not that I'm actually happy about that particular discovery, kind of makes it even more gross to think about. Number 2. The Forgotten Pyramids now, if I were to ask you about landmarks that you'd find in Africa, one of the first things you'd probably say in reply would be the Great Pyramids that you'd find in Egypt, and that would be fair. But as history has shown us, the Egyptians were not the only ones who were making pyramids, and some of them got lost in Sudan. The pyramids of Sudan were built over a period of hundreds of years by a civilization known as the Nubians. The Nubians were eventually conquered and served under Egypt, but then they broke free, rebuilt their empire, and then conquered Egypt for a time. See there? It all balances out. The first Nubian pyramid was built around 700 BC, much later than the Great Pyramids, and the Nubian pyramids are smaller, typically less than 100 feet high, and the burial chambers were actually under the pyramids and not within them like the Egyptians had done. So while they were similar in some ways, these peoples made their pyramids very differently. Number 1. 3000 Year Old City if you've ever wondered if the sands in Africa can bury things for a long time, you need only to look to recent history to get a yes answer to that. Because in 2020, a group was trying to discover a hidden mortuary off of Luxor, Egypt, but instead they found a city that had been buried and was 3,000 years old. This was Aten, Egypt's lost golden city. The sands of the Sahara were so grand that they had buried a full-on city and basically ensured that no one would find it until it was discovered by accident. That's a whole lot of sand to clear out. Some even went so far as to call this the greatest archaeological find in Egypt since the tomb of King Tut himself, because obviously they didn't just find the city, but the artifacts that had survived the burying experience, all of which could shed even more light on Egyptian history. And that's all from the realm of Africa and all that it holds. Were you surprised by some of the things that were indeed discovered there? And which of these items or discoveries did you find the most curious of all? And do you know of any others that should be on this list? As always, let me know all about it in the comments down below. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.